What's up everyone, welcome to the Midnight Mod Garage, coming to you from our makeshift paint booth, and today we're going to be painting the wheels on the Jeep. All right, guys, so here we are in the warehouse. We have the temporary hey, paint Mike, there's some dude out here dressed head to toe in leather. He says you're your Tinder date. He says he wants me to ask you if you prefer lips or hips. He said you would know what that means. I better go take care of this. Now, once we were confident that Mike thoroughly understood the difference between mail order guy and mail order bride, we got the Jeep up off the ground, put it on jack stands, and removed all five wheels. So this is what the stock wheels on the Jeep look like currently, and it's not so much that they're dirty, but that the previous owner had tried and plasti dip them, but had done a really phone-in job of it. So as with any paint project, but particularly with wheels, the first step is to scuff, not scratch, the surface, as paint does not like to adhere to any smooth, dirty, or otherwise contaminated surfaces. Now we're covering the valve stems with painter's tape because we don't want to risk the caps getting glued into place once the paint's dry. After a thorough cleaning and scuffing, I'm giving the wheels one final wipe with alcohol while Mike hits them with compressed air to make sure they're thoroughly dry and free of dust. So part of the prep we haven't actually gone over here is the use of index cards between the rim and the tire, which serves to block the paint from getting on the rubber itself. This is an old trick we've been using for years as Mike's changed the color of the wheels on almost every car he's ever owned, something like 247 teen cars. All right, so as you just saw, we did a thorough cleaning on all the wheels, followed by a light scuffing with 800 grit sandpaper with two coats of a wheel-specific gloss black by Duplicolor and a single coat of clear, and these are how the wheels are looking now. Alright, so it's a good job we did all the painting last night because today, obviously, it's pouring out. So we're just waiting on this to let up and we got a brand new set of lug nuts. We're going to put the wheels right back on the Jeep just as soon as, uh, as we're able to. Alright guys, so it is still raining out. Uh, the acorn lugs that we ordered, which are gloss black, have not arrived yet. They're supposed to come at 4, then 4.30, 5, it's 4.45. We're going to get these ready to go on so that when they do come, we're not futzing around in the dark. So the first thing we're going to do is put the caps back in. So you just kind of gently place them in there. Give it a little push. A little bit. Good. All right, good. So once you have the center caps put into place, you're gonna to wanna to put these retaining clips on. How you're gonna do that, how I recommend doing that is make sure you have a set of needle nose pliers. Seat the bottom in. Squeeze towards your other hands. You'll get one side in first, like that. And then you grab the other side with the needle nose and pop, done. All right, so as you can see, last night it was raining hard, so it's the next day and now we're just finishing up putting the wheels back on the Jeep. All right, now we're just gonna make sure they're all tight in the spec. All right. All right, so take a look at this now. What a difference. 